Hello viewers and welcome to our final Xbox One preview of Project Cars. Uh, it's certainly a game that's been requested, a video that's been requested by you all for some time. Unfortunately it's not been uh, something I've had any real control over, but here we see a bit of the Ford Sierra RS500 racing around Donington, which was one of the requests as well, giving it that classic touring car feel. Wasn't it Donington where we had that legendary race with Nigel Mansell in it as well years ago, and I think Tiffany Dell knocking him off, and Mansell getting all annoyed that they all ganged up on him. It was a brilliant run at the time. I remember Mansell taking the lead, and it was just one of the best racing moments ever. But uh, racing around this, a classic circuit, of course, uh, held a few Grand Prix, and of course that legendary lap from Ayrton Senna as well. And you can see some different views here running on the Xbox version. Now, this isn't quite complete. Uh, there is a patch awaiting to be applied to it. And there's lots of bits and pieces in the game which we can't show you until uh, we actually have the final code. So we can't review this until we have 100% the final version. So instead I thought, well, let's knock a video together so at least you guys can see the, the sort of radical amount of improvement on it since the early build which we showed you a while ago and a video then that was only running at 30 frames so at least we've got a 60 frames uh, video and build running here as well so running in the rs500 is a tricky car to drive uh, braking distances are quite long uh, it's a little bit slower into the corners than you'd expect at first so it takes a bit of time getting used to it a little bit of barging going on there but it's always to be expected as we race down the hill and this is quite a tricky corner I find you know I tend to get a lot of understeer in this corner so you see me going wide a few times there just needing to modulate my braking points and I'm sure with lots of laps uh, that wouldn't be a problem again I've sort of quickly run on the different cars and courses on this version tried to just give you guys a, a little look at it see how it's progressing bonnet cam is what I was using for the race at the time you can see that here and then you have also this middle of the car camera as well a bit of what you'd see on tv it's quite nice as well because it gives you a view out of both sides of the car you do get a nice wide angle of a view there and if you can get yourself used to it it's probably a very handy view to use so of course you do have a lot in your way so not as practical bonnet cam is always dead handy I'm racing through the chicane car moves around a lot in chicane it's actually quite challenging getting your line right getting on the power neatly and I was looking here at the clouds, I'd noticed the clouds were uh, changing a little bit as the race had gone on. I, I'd set some weather to change and then I completely missed my braking point, so it was slightly wide there. But never mind, back on the track, and, uh, moving on. Now the weather I had set to go to rain eventually at this point. So it starts off clear, then it goes cloudy and then the rain will come. But I, I didn't have the weather sped up with time, so you won't see rain in this video, but it's something we'll look at on future videos. I'm just working my way through the pack uh, and again noting the feedback on uh, what you guys have been saying in the videos, what you'd like to see. Uh, so we still have the wheel video coming for PS4. I'd like to run a, a video with this with the TX wheel at some point. My TV has unfortunately died uh, on my TX wheel setup which is a bit of a pain my old black TV that I used many years ago many of you have seen many over the shoulder videos has has died and it's a very small element on it which is gone but unfortunately it's quite terminal so it's one of those things unless you pay a fortune to fix it as I come through the chicane again looking for an opportunity to get past but uh, unable to this time Included that race. Now I'll be looking at the different cars and circuits as we see a bit of a LMP1 car. What's this? The Marek PP, Marek RP, shall I say? Racing round. I was racing around there, seeing what it was like at Silverstone. And just a little clip of this as I work my way around. Getting used to the handling. Let's talk a little bit about the handling. We can talk about that. Uh, uh, the handling was a real issue on the early version uh, I was playing. The cars were a real handful. Uh, it's improved. I'd still say from a personal standpoint, I find it more sensitive on the Xbox. I, I do find that I have to, you know, to be quite tricky in terms of, you know, the car sort of almost oversteering a bit and spinning out. It's, it's, a, it's a 
difficult line. So there's definitely going to be a learning curve for people and the different versions, but certainly from a pick up and play point of view, I, I still find that the PlayStation 4 version with a pad was, uh, was certainly feeling a little bit more grippy to me. But that's something which I'm sure many of you will analyze in the, the, the months and years to come. But certainly at this stage, I found that you've got to be really progressive with the triggers. People have asked me about trigger rumble. I, again, this is an early version, so I don't know if it's final. Um, but uh, there's rumble when you're braking and the brakes lock, but there isn't the rumble when you're accelerating. You get lots of rumble bumps and all that sort of stuff, but not the actual wheel spinning uh, rumble that you'd get in Forza 5. And that's a bit of a shame because that was handy in that, that game at the time. Sort of system. Having said that, I also find that you need to be really progressive with the power. You know, just a small amount of power gets the car out of slow corners and you can spin out very easily. So uh, it's a little bit more tricky to drive some of these than it actually, I uh, make it look on some of the videos. Uh, it is quite tricky racing. The Formula B here, one of my preferred cars. And again, racing around Silverstone during the day. Um, note the tar car had wet tires on it as well for this race. It's quite interesting. I set the weather up again so that it would rain later in the race but that hadn't changed again the timing on that rain. So it prepares the car for wet weather conditions if rain is on the way, which is quite interesting. Um, so racing rounds, again, just getting used to the braking points and the handling. Uh, we've got the in-car view here as well. Working my way along, this is the view many of you will be using, no doubt, or t cam view to race your way around in these cars. Pretty nice and deep in the car good sound as well so interesting to see when we see the final version you know we will be looking at comparisons between the PS4 and Xbox versions um, if you have questions or stuff you'd like to see do let us know and we'll be happy to show that I mean the one thing about these project card videos is we've tried to show every aspect you know there's nothing hidden here you can see all the cars you can see all the visuals you can make all your comparisons uh, and I've really wanted to make sure that that all of you can make your own sort of informed decision with what you're seeing here because it's been important to to really show people the, sort of the versions and what they're getting as it were and uh, no doubt when the reviews go live next week there'll be lots of people with lots of different opinions as long as we've raised some questions here and there that's good but on the whole the, the amount of cars the circuits the visuals it, it all looks fantastic and I, I, I'm certainly impressed with what I've seen so far from a, a third party developer. And it's important to compare this to third party developers all the time because uh, this is a multi-format title. So I try and find a gap there. I thought I found a gap but hadn't got away with it though because I only had visual damage on I think for this run. I don't even know if I had visual damage on actually. Um, but we will show some damage in a video. I've had that requested as well so we'll be working on some damage videos and stuff like that working way around. I've had some people saying I use a lot of replay footage. Uh, the replay is actually the same in this as the gameplay. There's no difference between the replays and the gameplay uh, and by using replay it gives us a chance to produce these more dynamic videos which show different camera views and such like rather than just standard in-game action. So we do like to show the different camera views where possible. So uh, it's nice to look at some of that. Now again this isn't the final version. There is a patch to be added. There are improvements to be added to it, and I'm going to stress that again. So this is not a version people should be reviewing at this stage until it's all finally in place. As we look at the roof going around uh, Watkins Glen again, which I've used recently. Again, it's been a good barometer to use the same car on uh, you know, the same courses I already know. Really enjoy racing this on the PC version. I love racing it on the PC version. It's been great fun. The AI has been uh, exceptional in terms of its you know, sort of racing ability and competitiveness and unpredictability which has been nice. You know. uh, that's not to say there aren't going to be corners which are where you're predictably faster than the AI but certainly the AI, the higher the challenge you have the AI on the more aggressive and the more uh, unpredictable they become so that's been quite interesting. I was caught out a little bit there by the car braking. And you can see the helmet cam in action here. And again, all of this is recorded at 60 frames. So I, I hope that the quality of the improvement is being shown to you all. I look for a way past. 
working my way through the field. So it's been an interesting journey uh, on Project Cars. We've got another preview to come, which will be showing, uh, you know, just really looking back at all the different content, the different builds uh, over the past few years, and then lots of your feedback as well. And of course, we've launched our Patreon this week and community page system. We're going to be working with more and more of you in terms of uh, running your pages and, uh, you know, sharing your journey you know on project cars and other games as well i mean we want to get everybody involved from every type of racing game uh, because our passion at vvv is all racing games motorsports but racing games in general and we want to share our passion and we want to share your passion as well for the, the series and things you like and things you don't like you know, that's that's really what we want to hear is the different opinions and get that out there and also you know in terms of content really finding out other contents out there. Now that was quite tricky. The car at the bottom of the hill oversteered, so I had to back out of the power. It's one of the things I've noticed a bit more with the Xbox version, it's quite sensitive. You, know, you can steer so far with the stick that can, the back end can stand out. Now I haven't uh, tried the different modes, so until I do a proper analysis with the different modes, I get very difficult to compare. Having said that, I think fundamentally, if you look at the driving and everything else, it's all pretty similar between the different versions. This, that's a tricky braking zone there. The car was moving around quite a bit. So there are parts of the course where the car is definitely more planted. Make a stab up the inside for that one. Turn to work my way around. Try going wide and then cutting back basically there. Uh, so you know, moving about a bit. Not long now for many of you to play Project Cars. It's certainly been an epic journey along the way. It feels like we've been playing it for years in a way. I mean, we have. We've been playing this course now for, for four years. Um, and it's finally going to be released for all of you to enjoy it. Uh, and then after that, I'll be looking at the career modes once it's out and some multiplayer modes. Working with our community on stuff like that as well for competitions and prizes and stuff like that. So, uh, there's lots we're going to be working on in terms of giveaways and prizes and everything else for the BB community and the Patreon community as well. Finally, a, a run here on the was it the Ford Escort Mark One around Snetterton. So, seeing how it goes on there, here we've got the in car view, which shows the sort of sparse interiors. It's always funny when you get into these older cars and you just see there's just nothing inside they feel quite open and they are you know they're quite rigid cars so if you crash in one you feel it has to be said but i do quite like the internal views and the gear changes and operation and everything else um, i don't know this course very well so I, I completely miss my braking up here no idea where i was going and realize lose track position there so you don't know there's the other car looking to overtake but it's nice, you've got such a variety of cars. I've seen people talking about the car list and you know you know what 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 they would like to see in terms of the list. Uh, and you know they've really gone for a sort of a racing selection of, of cars and you know different racing classes. I mean that's what this is all about, racing classes. There are plenty of classes in here that aren't in Gran Turismo, that aren't in Forza Motorsport, that aren't in any other racing game on console. So they've got lots of stuff the others haven't got. And, you know, I think that's an important starting point. You know, we didn't just want the same cars that you've already got in Forza and Gran Turismo. We want different cars and different car classes and different courses. Uh, and it's a really good sort of benchmark to start at. Obviously, if games like this are, are not popular, then you probably won't find many more Sims being released uh, on console. You know, it's just one of those things. In that sense, it's still an important benchmark in terms of how it performs but it's important that the game matches the quality and when we look at the different versions it's important that the versions are of a quality and they're all worth buying and when we eventually review it our main review will be conducted on the PS4 version and Martin will be handling that it won't be out anytime soon because he's going to complete the game first uh, we don't always review games initially uh, we take our time to review them I've always said to my writers they're uh, they're under no obligation to rush it out the door play through the game, it takes as long as it takes, you learn the nuances of the game and then you review it, it's as simple as that. You know, people who knock reviews out in the next few days will have played the game for five days and knocked the review out the door. 
that's fine, that's the way it works with a lot of journalism. That's not the way we work, we always like to play them a bit longer. But in the meantime, we like to share the journey, and in this sense, I've shared with you all the races I've done and the experience I've had. So my opinion of it, in a way, is based on my experience of racing games, but not necessarily uh, hugely different in terms of what I've seen to what you guys have seen, and that's what's great about causing debate. But that's been it for the Xbox preview. I hope you've enjoyed this preview. Do check out the other videos. Uh, check out our Patreon. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with what we're doing. And as ever, there'll be more from me very soon.